Fame, wealth, and complete madness are just a few things that can affect who you ultimately become. Why can't this <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons child stars go crazy. And teachers tell me walk, but I really rather hover in the jam fest. For this list, we're focusing on specific reasons why the Hollywood system seems to contribute to the mental instability of stars who gained fame as children. We if, if, you if you leave the business or you're not cute anymore or you're not, you know, the right for the part and you start getting the rejection, it, it's very painful. Number 10. Poor career management. <laughs> In the digital age of instant stardom, creepy agents are no longer scouring coffee shops in search of the next big star. They're lurking on social media and making promises they cannot fulfill. Just gonna go ahead and message me, but we're not friends to me, you're all a bunch of creeps. If you're going to be manipulated, then why not align yourself with a well-known Hollywood agent? You know, someone who legitimately wants to make you a star. I have hundreds of clients to deal with, and just so we're clear, I don't care about any of them. And if he or she can make a few dollars in the process, so be it. Okay, millions of dollars. To be fair, there are plenty of respectable agents in the entertainment industry, but far too many wannabes. I was paying you a compliment. Number 9. Bad Influences, Entourage We've all heard the story. Sweet little Susie jaunts off to the big city and suddenly she's smoking blunts at 10 a.m. and drunk by noon. Why does this happen? The Entourage. You guys going to that Motorola party tonight? Uh, no, we can't. We got Vince's premiere tonight. We're busy. Oh my gosh, that's right. Why aren't we on the list? Because you're not hot enough. The concept was glorified on HBO's hit series, but in reality, there's a certain crowd that likes to have influence on aspiring stars, or at least to be associated with them. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> These people introduce child stars to the likes of Jack Daniels and Mary Jane. And it's at that moment when all bets are off, because anything can happen. Before I leave, brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. Cause when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. Number 8. Lack of Childhood Have you seen my childhood? Michael Jackson said it best. Have you seen my childhood? And the answer is no, MJ. Nobody saw your childhood. Because it didn't really exist. Oh, baby, all I need is one more chance. When you're raised to be a star, the smaller joys of life such as camping trips and summer shenanigans always take a backseat to practice. We'll do it tomorrow, says mom or dad, and of course, that day never comes. Some child stars live with the perpetual agony of knowing that simple dreams will never be realized in order to reach a more complex one. And when that child does become a star, he or she regresses into the past, rather than looking towards the future. We swagger, man. You know, this is just a we better the spot kids, to pitch. bro. We the wild kids. That's a cool spot to pitch. You know, you'll forever remember that. Number seven, sexually exploited. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. That's the biggest problem for children in this industry. Unfortunately, this has long been a dark Hollywood issue that keeps victims silent for years. Whether it's a world-renowned performer or a slimy executive, child stars often fall under the influence of power and become sexually objectified. I think Hollywood in particular has, has a real problem that no one has talked about. They covered it up for a long time and it's just now coming to light. Some actively lend their bodies with hopes of earning that breakthrough role, while others are simply taken advantage of at a young age. I developed a, uh, a problem with drinking and um, to numb that pain for years. Regardless, the attempts to block out the painful memories naturally become too much to handle, either during childhood itself or at an older age. He made me feel like I have to do that in order to get any job. He was just saying uh, this was common in the industry. Number six, fame came too fast. 
Just 14 years old in 1986, Corey Haim was already a star, playing the title role in the film Lucas. When it comes to being a celebrity, even the strongest upbringing can never prepare one for international fame. It's just not possible. If I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. Thank you. The attention of admiring fans may seem appealing, but child stars often become overwhelmed with the evolution of their surroundings. Why? Well, because they're children and have not been allowed to form their own life perspectives. Instead, their reality is created by their fame. And when one realizes that life isn't all about public admiration, it can be a major blow to the senses. 19-year-old child star of Everybody Loves Raymond Sawyer Sweeten is dead of an apparent suicide. Number 5. Drugs and Alcohol Fresh out of three yes, months of rehab, like the star is now opening up to you know, Oprah, talking about being an alcoholic, her alcohol. addiction to Adderall, <laughs> and going to jail in 2010. As noted in our number 9 entry, the entourages of child stars can have a devastating effect on their personal lives. But drugs and alcohol always serve as the larger threat. So there's Amanda Bynes walking into a liquor store to wash gasoline off her dog. Minutes after the gasoline accidentally splashed on the dog, while Amanda was building a fire in the driveway of the home of this elderly woman for no apparent reason. It's no secret that Hollywood stars have been known to consume cocaine like an appetizer and self-medicate with a steady amount of booze. And as you start to use, you fill that that void in your life. And I think that is why so many child actors turn to drugs and alcohol. Addiction never seems to be a problem when the body continues to function. But there's always that moment when just a little more is needed. And while public breakdowns make for entertaining YouTube videos, sometimes child stars don't return from their seemingly temporary escapes. 23-year-old Phoenix collapsed outside a Hollywood nightclub. The cause of death is under investigation. Number four fame going to their heads. When the seagulls follow the trawler, it is because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea. Thank you very much. Okay, here's some breaking news. Fame may cause a blurred sense of reality. Of course, it can also make someone cocky as hell. Are you aware that Scooter Braun knows that your bodyguards have attacked photographers? What injection? To form. What kind of question is that? That didn't make sense. And why wouldn't someone appear confident when they have the looks, the money, and the ability to travel anywhere in the world? It's the coolest of the coolest, it's the smoothest of the smoothest, it's the crudest and the rudest of the stupid kids. Well, in most cases, there always comes a day when a child star realizes that nobody likes an arrogant asshole. Young entertainers may become famous by playing magnificent bastards, but they don't understand that such a persona doesn't effectively translate to real life. You know what? I don't like your attitude, to be quite honest. You're mad. Because, you know what? You're too young to be smoking pot and, you know, pee-peeing in buckets and driving up and down the highway fast. Number three, parents. Don't tell my heart, my aching, breaking heart. I just don't think you'd if you're a parent that boasts about taking care of your child, well, then you're probably not doing enough because you're supposed to take care of your kid. If she has to do something, she does it. Some Hollywood parents like to project their failed dreams onto their children. And a few troubled souls view their children's talents as nothing more than a cash machine. Because that's the thing, like, they're in control of my money and that's why I don't have much money right now. Like, As child stars land that big time role, it's only natural for mom and or dad to take control of the bank account and save a few bucks for college. You know who you are and you're making your kid crazy. <laughs> Two, wanting to get rid of their former image. When you grow up as a teeny bopper angel forced to wear a permagrin, it's only a matter of years until you say, F this. Seriously, it only makes sense. As one grows into a young man or woman, 
it's never easy, especially when not only your parents get on your nerves, but the entire world does. Child stars forever become associated with their on-screen identities, and the only way to shatter such an image is to aggressively resist innocence itself. That's when the entourage steps in to lend assistance with a plate of goodies to choose from. And that's when a child star goes batshit crazy. I came in like a Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. You're about to be on this big wave that's gonna be, that's, you're gonna take a big ride on this amazing wave and it's gonna be fun. But know that in life, as in surf, the wave crashes inevitably and you take a tumble and you fall and you have to decide whether you want to go back out and surf. As Lynn's girl gave her personal assistant the boot because she lacked the funds to continue to pay him. Number one, pressure. The toughest part for me was having to carry the whole show by myself. Hey, life is hard, and even the most privileged of child stars feels pressure. Success depends upon public reaction, and one must put on an endless show in order to maintain the Hollywood lifestyle. To the point where I was on the side of the stage, like, <sighs> hyperventilating, and the, the stage manager was like, okay, you ready to go? I'm like, I can't do this. I can't oh my do gosh. this. So what happens when your latest flick bombs at the box office? Well, the phone stops ringing and the criticism begins. There have obviously been so many Disney stars who came before you who went on to do amazing things with their careers. Yeah. I'm wondering what are your hopes for where this takes you? Oh, well, I definitely want to get back into like the future film route a little bit, like after the show and everything. Naturally, it's never easy to accept social disapproval, especially when you don't entirely understand the concept. I had extensions and was like always feeling I had to be in high heels and my makeup done. You're just a kid and you're doing what you love to do, or at least that's what you thought. The lucky ones managed to maintain a normal life and a successful career, but far too many succumb to the pressure of being a child star. Almost every time for me is a nerve wracking time for me because I will find the pressure in every situation and think about it. Do you agree with our list? Why do you think child stars go crazy? We work from noon to midnight, and that's just not supposed to happen. For more mind-blowing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Mm -hmm.